another video with me, Dark Twisted Gamer. And today, I'm going to be doing something a bit different. Well, if you notice, I don't have a face cam, and that's because I'm in the process of moving my computer to a different location, and I haven't set up a background or a green screen yet, so we're not going to have a face cam in this video, and I don't know when I will next. But also, in today's video, I'm going to be playing six different uh, FPS shooters on Roblox, and grading them out of five. Uh, leave all, all of them in the description of this video, so you can play them as well. Uh, why don't we hop into the video? So this first game is called Frontlines, and it is a hyper-realistic FPS shooter. I have played it only one other time, and so I'm not very good at it. I've also lined up them in, I think, the order of which I'm the best at, so we're going to be starting at the ones I'm worst at. So I'll play rough, like, one or two rounds of each game, depending on how... Oh, why does it have to be in the back? How much money do I have? Sniper! That is obviously not that good. Oh my gosh, they're epic! I don't even know if we have even teams. No, we don't even have even teams. Yay, let's go. I'm hit. Bruh. Wow. It really helped that the team go super unfair. I guess there's friendly fire. Oh. Huh? You gotta be kidding! Go! Oh!
got a kill! The knife! Oh my god! Emotional, damn it! Not good. I can't do anything. As a rating, I think this game is pretty dang hard to learn. Why it's super real? It's hyper realistic, so I'm gonna give it about a four. This game is Special Forces Simulator, and it is different from other first person shooters as you're not fighting other people, you're fighting NPCs. So, it's a little different. Okay, there we go. Stop right Police. there! Put your hands up! We're going to Subway. The United States suspected attacking Subway. Do not move! Police! Police! Put your hands up! Why? Hmm. Enemy base. Oh, and the Shez, Shez Republic attacked them. Thank you. 
Bruh, I had the most kills and the most accuracy. Columbia, man should taken over by enemies. Uh oh. Go. Most kills, like always, best hero, save one hostage. Well, this is a good game, although there, there seem to be a few bugs, and it, the AI isn't the greatest. It's quite, actually quite easy, so I kind of feel like this game isn't as great as the last one. I, I'd only give it a 3 out of 5. So this game is called Combat Arena. And it's pretty similar to Gunfight Arena, except it, the style is just a little different. <laughs> I like it quite a lot. Oh wait, is, is it the new stuff? Three people can you kill. Ah, I knew someone was following me. Ah. Here we are.
Well, we lost the round, but I tried to crouch under a table, and I ended up stopping my report. So. <laughs> This game is pretty good actually, and I, I do like it a lot, and I like that you can buy guns with the money you earn, instead of having class, because I think that adds another layer of, a layer of challenge to the game, buy better guns. Just in the style, it's in a similar format to Gunfight Arena, which I really like, so I'll give it about a, a 4 to 5. This next game is called Rival, and I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's pretty much just uh, death matches of anywhere from between one to five people, and at the very end, of two teams, and then at the very end, there's one and two three team games. So, so this game is. I'm a bit better at it, played quite a bit. Okay. This is very bouncy. Oh, we lost! Dang it. We go. Was he out? Aww. Oh, that's a lot of emotional damage.
four. Let's go. Oh, that's so nice. we go. Okay, he's not ready. There we go. Is he shotgunning? That's why he's gonna get me. Well, this is a great game, and I find this really good, not just because I'm good at it, but it's just a fun concept. It, it's better than just being thrown into a free-for-all match. I like being able to do with people instead, on, like, smaller scales. That, that's a lot more fun. Even though they do have, like, a free-for-all mode, I, I do prefer this mode better. I do like this game a lot, and I also give it a 4 or 5. So, this Kill game is Arsenal. So it's one of the most famous and oldest uh, PS shooters on Roblox, I believe. And I really do love it because it's got a lot of different guns and game modes that are really fun. Wow, you blew his brains out. Nice. Oh wow. 
You blew his brains out. Nice. What? Good shot. You got his head. Hey, you I like him. it whenever I can have a different gun than everyone else. This game mode makes sure that we all have the same gun. Hey, you got here. Excellent. Good shot! You got his head! Yo! Gun game, my best mode. I'm the best at gun game, wow, and I love our nice. because most of the game modes are gun games. That's how you do it. Nice headshot. Got <laughs> Come on, I threw like three rockets in there. Do not let that happen again. Ah. Uh. No. This game is really good, and I love all the creative guns that they have. All the game modes are really great. There's so many to go through. If you really, if you like this, then comment below, and I might do a whole video just on Arsenal itself. But other than the fact that a lot of the guns you can't aim like a normal FPS shooter, I love this game. A really well made game. I'll give it a five out of five. That makes Arsenal the top-rated game, I think, by far. Even though I like Gunfight at the moment, I can't be biased because I'm really good. So I think out of all the games, Arsenal is the best game. But I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye!